Hey everybody, I just want to announce that because our Bitey's Awards ran a little longer than originally scheduled, we decided to split it into two shows. So in this edition, you're going to get just a few of the first awards, and we will be announcing the winner of our $20 Highspots.com gift certificate as part of our Bite That 2013 Christmas giveaway. So with that being said, let's head on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, ByteThat.com, YouTube.com, slash ByteThatCast, and everything else involving ByteThat proudly brings to you the first ever ByteThat Bites, with your host, the guy doing this voice, holding his hands over the microphone to sound different. So without further ado, Mr. Juan Velez You had two other people to introduce you, and you chose to introduce yourself. Yeah. You egotistical fuck. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, man. There's only one way to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Bite That Body Awards. We are the semi-somewhat, maybe, international professional wrestling podcast that talks about the ups and downs of that which we love, which is the world of professional wrestling. Now, this is a really special edition. We had an episode coming out just this past Tuesday, but today we have our award ceremony and the winner, this brand spanking reveal of the ByteThat.com $20 Highspots.com gift certificate in our Christmas giveaway. But first, ladies and gentlemen... It's time to begin the awards. So this is how it's going to go. We have a lot of stuff here. We have things like Transformation of the Year, the WTF Moment of the Year. Why don't we get down to the categories? The first category is Transformation of the Year, presented by Juan. The Transformation of the Year is an interesting category because it's it's these guys that went from point A to point B. It's the guys that you thought were least likely to get a makeover or to just completely change as a whole. So without further ado, here are the nominees. Number one, Bully Ray. We don't watch a lot of TNA, but this man has tremendously changed ever since his TNA debut where he was really, really out of shape, and now he is a Bully Ray. Number two, Triple H. He went from the game to the corporate machine. Number three, Curtis Axel. Number four, Randy <laughs> Orton. <laughs> Number that four, Randy Orton, who went from the apex predator to your brand new and first ever WWE World's Heavyweight Champion. You guys ready for the winner? Huh? Do you guys know who it is? Do we get I mean, envelopes do, but, for this? You know, is it... No, I have a piece of paper here. Let me rip this quickly. Okay. And the winner is... <laughs> crap, I don't know what I just ripped. I hope it was nothing important. I didn't even look. <laughs> oh, crap. It's, it's an electric... It's it's my electricity bill. Crap. <laughs> anyway, well, the winner is... Mission accomplished. <laughs> Bully Ray. Yeah. And it play his theme because we're legally not allowed now, to. So that... Wouldn't it be the best, though, <laughs> if you had just ripped your electricity bill and your lights went out and your power went out and we just couldn't hear the rest of what you said? <laughs> <laughs> and did just Sabu just sort of hung out with me? Okay, so Bully Ray. Why did Bully Ray win? By the way, all of these awards we voted on, so there was a lot of debating, no mass debating that I know of before the show. But this is how we got oh, to it. Tons. Now, Bully Ray, the re- the reason he won is because even though we don't watch a lot of TNA, you got to respect this guy. This man has gone from a complete uh, just, just tag team specialist to a solidified singles competitor in TNA. Now, people can talk trash about TNA all they want, but if you if, if you got to give them credit for something, it's Bully Ray's transformation, them giving this guy the opportunity because you had plenty of other guys to, to transform, but no, they chose Bully Ray so for that, we want to thank TNA. However, we want to, uh, however, there is one guy that was not on this list. I want to give Keith a quick little spotlight here. 
because he wanted to bring up Kane on this list. Now I want to ask you, Keith, why do you think Kane needed to be here? I think Kane should have been Transformation of the Year because that was the most drastic change in a character all year. Like, he went from friendly, haha, I'm Kane, teaming with Daniel Bryan, hoo hoo hoo, to, like, the big red monster for a while, goes away for a bit, and comes back as this corporate Republican. Like, of all the things that they did with Kane, that whole suit and tie thing completely came out of left field. Like, that's a huge character change. It is a great transformation, and I agree that it was the most drastic, but it was not the most, uh, I guess, it didn't make the most impact by any means. And I guess <laughs> someone who won oh. was on impact. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Either way, had Kane done much more with this corporate Kane thing, I think he would have had a much better shot at winning. And the reason we ended up not picking him was because even though he is corporate Kane and it's a big transformation, he has not really done anything since becoming Republican. Now it's time for WTF Moment of the Year. Presented by Ryan McNulty. Okay, so now we're looking at what the fuck moment of the year. Basically, <laughs> any moment that while you're watching Raw or whatever pay-per-view or SmackDown or whatever wrestling show and you were just like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> so, nominee number one, Paul Heyman proposing to Ryback. Great segment as it was was maybe the most uncomfortable wwe tv all year no homo <laughs> it you know it, it just instilled and that was the purpose to to have this discomfort and questioning like what is really going on here nominee number two bully ray rests on a table this was during his tlc well oh, i'm sorry uh what is it full metal mayhem excuse me correct d yes d with uh jeff hardy Basically, Jeff Hardy does... Did he do the Twist of Fate in this? Was it the yeah. Twist of Fate that he does? Okay. Yeah. So, he, I guess there was an instance where the table broke too early before. So, Jeff Hardy goes for the Twist of Fate, lands it, and Bully's supposed to just, you know, fall off on, onto the table. <laughs> but he doesn't want the table to break. So, he's slowly <laughs> just, like, laying himself onto the table <laughs> so that it doesn't break. And it just... Kayfabe instantly died a most painful death in that moment. <laughs> Nominee number three, the ending to Battleground. If anyone who purchased that pay-per-view, I'm sure the what the fuck moment was very appropriate for them because you just basically wanted to put your fist through the TV at how horribly that pay-per-view ended. Big Show just comes out, knocks everybody out. Hey, this is cool. Done. It's like, what? What? No champion, still no champion. Yeah, the fuck. What Moment the fuck? of the year. And number four, Cena versus Rock wins match of the year. Just an unbelievable moment. The The actual nominees for this should also be a, a, an honorable mention for what the fuck moment of the year. Just completely ignoring SummerSlam entirely. Like there wasn't any good matches. Anyway, the winner for what the fuck moment of the year is indeed... <laughs> Cena versus Rock winning match of the year. And I guess the votes weren't even rigged. So, hey, WWE Universe, why are you so da fucking fuck. stupid, man? Da fuck. <laughs> what the fuck, are you man? fucking stupid? Yeah. You think that's a good fucking yeah. match? Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, you tell him. Sick him, dog. Sick him. No. WWE headline of the year presented once again. But hey, guys, it's me again. So, yeah, the WWE headline of the year is basically... All these things. Wait, Doty headline of the year. What? <laughs> There's two TNA things in there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Wrestling uh, headline of the I year. I would re-record this, but it... Basically, the headline of the year goes to the headline of the year. You can figure that one out, huh? The nominees are... Number one, Bruno San Martino being announced in the Hall of Fame. Bruno San Martino for the longest time was completely against the WWE. He was in no uh, DVDs. He turned down the Hall of Fame a bunch of times. So seeing him actually get announced was something that was pretty special. Number two, AJ Styles leaving TNA. 
AJ Styles has been Mr. TNA ever since since day one. He won the exhibition championship, did all these things, and now he's gone. There are some apparent rumors that it may be a kayfabe storyline, but for the time being, he's out. Number three, Hogan and Bischoff leave TNA. These two guys, ever since day one, for the most part, they got rid of the six-sided ring. People hated it, and a lot of questionable deci- and a lot of questionable decisions were made by Bischoff and Hogan. They're gone now. Is that good or bad? That's not the point of this. The point is they're gone. And number four, John Cena returns early from injury. It's not the first time that happens. Probably not the last. But hey, we got Cena. He's back. How cool is that? And the winner of the apparently WWE Hatline of the Year, <laughs> even though it has two different TNA mentions, goes to <laughs> Bruno Sammartino being announced into the WWE Hall of Fame. AJ Styles leaving TNA and all these things are pretty big, but we got to talk about wrestling history. Bruno Sammartino... Triple H had to go over to his house apparently a lot of times to get this man to to accept this, to, to accept being involved, and he's a part of wrestling history, and especially with the WWE Network, with the way everything's going on right now, they need that hitch, that rich history to really be included in this package, and Bruno Sammartino being part of the WWE Hall of Fame definitely does a great job of having that whole package be solidified without including the total package like Sluger. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for next week when we announce the remaining winners of the 2013 Bitey Awards. But don't leave because right now we're going back to the show to formally announce the winner of the $20 Highspots.com gift certificate. So without further ado, let's get back to it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It's time. It's giveaway time to announce the winner of the buythat.com $20 highspots.com Christmas giveaway gift certificate thing. Man. I, I, can't I believe really need that. to come up with a shorter title for next year. <laughs> we want to thank each and every person that entered, went over to buythat.com. So with that being said, I think we just need to get right down to it. Huh? What do you think? Who won? Yeah. Tell me. Who won? Who won? Should we just announce? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Who won? Who won? I think this. I think this deserves not one brapadu, but this deserves a collective brapadu between the three of us. You guys ready for that? Yep. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm gonna do a countdown and everything. Okay. And the winner of our 2013 twenty dollar highspots.com gift certificate is three, two, one. <laughs> Roach McPoach. Hey! Yeah! Yeah! So once again, congratulations to Roach McPoach for winning the 2013 $20 Highspots.com gift certificate Christmas giveaway courtesy of the Bite That Podcast. I think that deserves a congratulation from each and every person, especially you, Keith. What do you got to say about Roach McPoach winning our giveaway? It's simple. I just want to say thank you to Roach McPoach for all of your support that you showed the show. And just going forward, just know that you won our first giveaway. And I hope you win many more. Let us know what you bought with that $20. Roach McPoach. I'm curious. So, Roach McPoach. You won. Congratulations. <laughs> you should let us know what you win, uh, what you buy with that gift card. Tweet us. Tell us what you bought, because that's cool. But Roach McPoach. Keith said, I hope you win many more. You know, that's a little selfish. You already won something. You really, you really, <laughs> you're going to try and win some other stuff? Let somebody else win. Come on, dude. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, you want to win everything? Jeez. But anyway, congratulations, Roach McPoach. You, you, thank you for supporting the show, but Roach McPoach. You know, chill out, man. You won something. <laughs> take it easy. Don't don't try. You know, we're giving something away. Don't take don't take everything from us, okay? You know, <laughs> we're, we're we're funded by ourselves, and we're not we're not rich, man. 
okay? 20 bucks is a lot of money to this show, okay? So just leave us alone. Are you okay? You think you're gonna cry. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, the and economy's can, rough, man. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you can donate your Christmas charity hampers to Ryan McNulty. You can find him at the Ryan exactly. McNulty on Twitter. If you want to donate to the exactly. show, send me a cashier's check for nine thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a but prince of Africa. Africa. <laughs> All joking aside, congratulations, Roach McPoach. But it's really important to remember that Roach McPoach. You have to contact us through ByThatCast at gmail.com to confirm that you, Roach McPoach, are the winner of the contest. So remember, Roach McPoach. Send us that email. Give us your name. You don't have to give us your address. Just your name. We got to confirm. We need to verify that you are indeed the winner of the giveaway. So that being said, we're here, guys. We got the award. We got our first giveaway thing. We did the thing. The, the, the two podcasts in a week. I'm so proud of us. So, la- ladies and gentlemen, we don't know <laughs> if we're going to be back next week. But regardless, we're, we're going to send a little message. And uh, if not, we'll get Keith to sing something. It'll be uploaded on iTunes, on Stitcher. You can check out the show clips over oh, at YouTube.com slash by right. Beat poetry. It's beat poetry. You ready for this? No, I'm not, but go ahead. It's a shameful thing. Lost your head. A careless man that will wind up dead. You wear your sin with some kind of pride. Too many limes. Too many limes. So remember, you can follow us on Twitter over at twitter.com slash bite that cast. That is bite that with a Y. You can... Subscribe to us on YouTube. Check out our channel for show clips. Exclusive content. Exclusive content. You can check out... Exclusive. You can check out full-length shows over at ByteThat.com. Stitcher, we're on the sports category. Get us on the top 100. So for Ryan McNulty, I'm Keith Poshik, and that guy is Juan... Who's he got a name change? Oh, so, see, so next time, for Bite That Cast, take care. Oh, see.